Thursday. It is it's 7:40 a.m. So this is usually the time I get into the studio around 7:30. I had to leave the studio pretty quickly yesterday, so I didn't get a chance to film anymore for the rest of the day. Yeah, because I got a message about a uh, last-minute shoot in the city, so I basically had five minutes to pack up <laughs> and catch the bus to the station and catch a train to the city. Yeah, so that was I left around. Two, I want to say. Yeah, I left just after lunch. In case I didn't mention it, I did buy new sticker paper. I bought two different types. Um, a, one of them was a pretty small quantity. Yeah, I did mention this. Yeah. And I hope that the new sticker paper comes today. It's meant to come today um, because I have two orders to ship out. So I really want to make the new sticker sheets on that. Thank you so much, Lisa and Linda, for your orders. Linda's been very patient. She said she's happy to wait until I get the new sticker paper. And, um, until I'm happy with that quality and um, Lisa this morning just placed an order. They both have really awesome Instagram accounts so I will link them below. So Linda has her own sticker shop called Teacher Latte and she makes the cutest personalized teacher stickers. I, I love the idea, I think it's super unique. She's also Australian which is awesome. I love meeting other Australian like sticker shop owners. Um, and Lisa is, if I'm correct, zero waste bunny. And she documents a whole journey, which is so awesome, about minimal waste and living sustainably and just switching to more sustainable alternatives. Thank you so much for your order, guys. I really, really, really appreciate it. And I hope the sticker paper comes today so I can pack it and ship it out today. Um, Linda also bought some planner cards. These productivity planner cards, which I haven't seen yet. And these self-care ones. So what I was thinking, I usually just ship it out like like just in the packet, but um, I'm thinking I might try to create some simple labels for it. Mm, yeah, let's see if I can do that today. One thing with um, Lisa's order, because she is very passionate about zero waste, I'm going to try to pack her order with no plastic. So that'll be interesting and I'll try to see how I can keep it safe without the plastic packaging. I do uh, definitely want to upgrade to the what's it called? I forgot what it's called. Sell you mm, the cornstarch packaging. I want to switch to that one very soon so I'm gonna have a look into that as well but I still have those thinner ones for my thinner new, new um, size sticker sheets. So right now I need to finish the vlog I want to finish that. It's halfway done, I think. Um, I was meant to work on it yesterday, but because I was out shooting and I didn't get home till late, I'm so tired. <laughs> I didn't manage to finish it. I got half of the little notes listings up as well. That is taking me way longer than I thought. I'll show you guys what I mean, but I ran into some um, issues some unexpected issues and some things I forgot about so I had to redo it quite a few times but I'll walk you through that and show it but I think first let's do the vlog should I get breakfast by breakfast I mean like coffee and toast yeah let's get breakfast all right I'm gonna get some food and let's get cracking because we've got a big day <laughs> we've got a very very busy day I really need to catch up so that I can feel okay again because I'm feeling a little stressed. Self-imposed, of course, but yeah, there's quite a bit to do. Isn't it silly that we want to be busy and then when we're busy, we're like, I'm so stressed. Only in retrospect, we realize that that was a good thing. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that even though I feel quite um, stressed and a little bit panicky, I'm, I, I'm trying to remember to be really, really grateful because I am grateful. I think I'm just so worried as well because I'm putting all that pressure on myself, but I'm so grateful to be in this position where I just have so much to do. I remember two years ago, I want to say, I think even three years ago when I first, absolutely first started working on printables and those designs I never even sold, but I would spend days, weeks, months just designing new printables, printing them out, you know, just daydreaming about my future, like shop ID nothing was happening and I felt like I had nothing to do. I just didn't have a clear plan back then and I didn't really have any, I mean I had goals, I just, it was just such big goals I didn't know how to get there, I just, 
I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't Instagramming much. I wasn't... Anyway, I just remember the emptiness of my days. Like, I just... I would look at my to-do list and I'm like, what do I... What do I do? I don't really have anything I need to do. It was a weird feeling, but I look at my to-do list now and I'm like, there is so much I need to do. But I am really grateful that there is a lot to do. So I just want to remind anyone that's in a similar situation but has forgotten that to maybe take a moment to actually be grateful for being busy. I mean, I think in our society we like to use busy as a a way to complain. At the same time, we're very lucky to be busy and we have a choice. And it's being busy means you're making progress. I mean, anyway, I'm rambling. Third time. Bye. So I just had an idea with the um, labels for the planner cards. Um, I couldn't really imagine something on the front. I don't know why. I just thought like the layout was a bit funny. But I thought, what if I do kind of a wraparound label? that's like sideways, that makes sense, like that, and have the writing sideways. And then it wraps around at the back, maybe about that much. And then I put the logo on the back, if that makes sense. My little sketch logo in Plan by Jella. So I was thinking something simple like that. What do you think? I think that's really cute. I like it. I don't want it to be the main center of attention. Um, and I think it'd be cute if it has it on the back, but just something like that. I'll test that and see what that looks like. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this uh, white paper. I don't know if I want to use the normal matte sticker paper, the gloss one, the one that turns yellow, <laughs> or the craft one, because I have craft sticker paper too. Craft could be really cute. But then my logo won't come out on the craft. Because my logo is kind of red. Maybe. It might. It'll actually be really good if I can use the matte sticker paper that turns yellow because I don't want to waste that paper. I still want to find a way to use it up in a useful way. I might test it. So I think I'll do um, the yellow matte paper and we're just going to call it the yellow matte paper and craft because I think craft could look really cute as well. What is going on with my hair? So I'm still working on the vlog, but I think I'm almost finished. I will check in as soon as it's done. I just had lunch um, and I was getting really worried because the sticker paper hadn't come yet and I really wanted to ship out those orders today. But just as I was eating, this came in the mail. <laughs> Yay. So this is one of two and the other one, I don't know when it's coming. Probably tomorrow, I guess. So let's open it together because I need your strength. <laughs> this is the thin one I'm guessing because it's quite, there's only 20 in here I think so. So this one has yellow um, backing paper which I wasn't a big fan of. Um, it's not a huge deal breaker because the other one I had uh, was just white backing paper and I really like the look of it. Oh, I took my top off because it was I was getting really hot while eating. <laughs> I'm grabbing the other sticker paper to compare. This one, my original one, feels thicker. That's the first thing I noticed. This one does definitely feel a lot thicker. Oh, my mum's home. Let's do this later. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. So the new sticker paper came. Oh, that's not the new one. The new sticker paper came with the yellow backing sheet, but it's no good. It is exactly the same <laughs> as my other sticker paper. Maybe my sticker paper isn't as bad as I think. It isn't as bad as I think, that's for sure, but I am trying to find one better. Surely there's there's one that's just in between. I don't know. Um, I mean, at least I know it's a different sticker paper because of the different backing sheet. So I couldn't vlog for the past hour, but in that time I did... Um, try to print out a sticker sheet on it. It looks exactly the same as this, quality wise. Um, but you can also see that my original one is actually wider. So this one has a slight gray tint to it. Well, good news is that my Cricut cut it out perfectly. <laughs> so I'm still waiting on one other sticker sheet to be delivered, sticker paper, sorry, to be delivered. And um, if that doesn't work, 
then I might just stick with the original paper. I think maybe my expectations are a bit too high for sticker paper. That could be also be a possibility. So what I'm trying to decide right now is whether I should ship those orders with the sticker paper I currently have, my original one, or if I should wait for the sticker paper tomorrow. So I'm just thinking, what if I get it and it ends up being like the other paper anyway, and then it's just another extra day delayed. I think I'm gonna ship, I'm gonna ship the orders today. Um, thank you so much, Linda and Lisa, and I'm sorry about the delay. Lisa, not so much of a delay, but um, still a day's delay. I tried to wait for the new sticker paper, but unfortunately, it's no good. So now, what to do with this new sticker paper? <laughs> I think I'm going to use these for labels, because they're not fully white, um, even though the new one is more expensive. So, I'm just going to keep the old one for, I mean, keep the new one for labels, which is easy to remember, because yellow backing sheet. So, we're going to put that on hold until the new sticker paper comes. Let's keep trying. I've only got 20 of these, thank god. So, Studio Vlog 18 is uploading to YouTube right now. I'm going to finish the little notes listings. Ah, I was going to show you why it got a little bit more complicated. So, with my digital files, um, I include a transparent PNG. You can't really tell here, but there's actually a drop shadow underneath. Just a slight one so that when they put it on good notes, it just looks more realistic. So you get individual ones of these just in case you use um, notability or something different. Uh, you get the good notes sticker sheets that I manually do, which is when you see me dragging the stickers onto the page. That's the good notes sticker sheet. And I also forgot for this one that they were meant to get a printable sticker sheet. At first I wasn't going to do it, but I guess with the other stickers, uh, you do get a printable sticker sheet. So I guess it made sense for this one. Um, so I had to redo that. But the thing is with the printable sticker sheet, you don't need drop shadows right like that how would you how would the cricket even understand that cut it would just look weird i think so what i had to do was go back to the individual files and re-export them individually without the drop shadow that was tedious <laughs> that was very tedious and um once i finished doing that then i needed to put them in the layout of a printable sticker sheet also tedious because I have to do that four times. I have to make four sticker sheets per listing and I have four listings. So I have to do that 16 times. <laughs> I have to do it 16 times. I've done three now, I think. And I have one more to do. And then once I've done that, I'm going to do the Etsy listings. I've only got two listings ready right now. I'll have to go back and update them update the file to include the printable sticker sheets but um and then i've got to do the other two listings okay so for today i'm gonna finish the little notes listings i did not get done get done i did not do as much as i hoped i would do today because i really had hoped to get the little notes listing done on friday even but then all this extra stuff came up that i had to take care of i'm gonna finish the little notes why do I keep calling it that? I'm going to finish the planner cards, the 2020 calendar. Have I been calling that the whole time? I'm going to finish the listings for the 2020 calendar stickers. And then I'm going to get the thumbnail and the description for the vlog. And then I'm going to do the packaging labels for the planner cards. Um, the one that just wraps around. So I want to try to see what that looks like. And, and I'm also going to pack those orders. The delay is worse than shipping with that current quality. I was really hoping that this new sticker paper would have been different, but it's still the same. We'll see about tomorrow's one. I think the new boba stickers, my new boba vinyl stickers are either coming this week or next week as well. Let's go. I'm a little bit bummed and I'm hoping the courier comes in the next hour and delivers me my other stick of paper, <laughs> but I don't think so. Okay.
Hey guys, it's Wednesday. It's 10.15 um, and you would have just seen me finish these little planner card labels and I'm really happy with the way they turned out actually. Um, usually I spend a really long time executing and great at the planning but it takes me a really long time to um, actually put my plans into action. I'm talking funny, sorry, because I have cut on my tongue I think. It's just really sore. Anyway, I'm not like 100% happy with it but it's kind of like 95% it's good enough and I guess I don't really I'm realizing that I don't really have the luxury to overthink these things like I said in the previous video just fail fast just stick with it for now I quite like the way it turned out I think the only thing is that the black just looks so strong the black font um I don't like how I don't know I almost tried to make it this font but then I changed my mind at the last minute and I'm thinking maybe I should have but I'm just gonna stick with this sheet first and finish this, excuse me. Once I finish this sheet of labels, then I'll rethink the design, but let, let me just stick with that. I used the um, that new stick sticker paper that arrived yesterday. So I'm just gonna try to use that up because that wasn't uh, very successful, but they're, they're fine as like just little labels. I put a little logo on the back. I don't know if I should have put more. I'm just gonna keep it simple. I don't like, excessive branding i just kind of want to keep it simple let the products speak for themselves kind of thing so that's what i've been doing this morning i um have almost finished the little notes oh why do i keep calling it that i i've almost finished the 2020 calendar listings as well oh my god it's taking so long <laughs> that's gonna go up soon i'm gonna pack some water soon i'm still very hopeful that uh the sticker paper arrives before I pack the orders for today because I really, really, really want that sticker paper to come so I can try that one out. I just want it to come so I know what the quality is like. Um, anyway, yeah. So, but I don't want to wait any longer than today. I think that today's my limit for the delay on those orders. Um, so I also had an epiphany with the Cricut. So I think people that are having issues with the second half printing Cricut I think it's because we have two files that we're attaching together. Sorry. <laughs> um, and I think that's why it's doing it because I kind of blanked out when I was about to go cut this. I was like, wait, do I need to offset this one as well? And I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, it must be because it's the second image. That must be why. Um, so there must be some bug in the software where it um, thinks the second half of the page is lower than it is. I don't know. But even with my tongue, <laughs> I'm going to do the voiceover for that video. I really want to get that video up this week as well. It should be a fairly simple video, just me talking like a voiceover on top of the um, screen recording. I don't know if I need to do like a face-to-face -face filming. I also realized that it might've been better to put it on the bottom so that the logo doesn't overlap on the adhesive, like that strip. Um, but I decided it kind of looked funny on the bottom. I wasn't really a fan of, I don't know. I think having the label on the side makes it look a little bit more different. I really like wraparound labels now. <laughs> I just love the look of it. I think it's so cool. And I am inspired to make something similar for the envelopes that I ship out. So I was thinking for the do, please do not bend sticker. I don't like the way it looks. <laughs> that was just like a really quick rough one. Thinking for the next batch once I run out of that, because I've still got quite a bit of those, to do a wraparound label where it says, please do not bend on the front with just normal font. I don't think I want it to be handwritten. And on the back, maybe a URL. That might be cute. Because I don't actually have branding on the, I, I guess you don't really need to, but it's kind of nice, you know who it's from. I mean, it's pretty obvious once you see all like <laughs> all my stickers and my like like my little character on it. Um, but I think maybe just a simple yeah, I can imagine it. I think it's really cute. I'm going to uh, archive that for now and then bring back that back once these stickers run out. Um, so I'm going to wait until twelve. And if the, the new sticker paper doesn't come by then, I'm gonna have to use the older sticker paper. I know I'm making it sound like the old sticker paper is like really horrible and I hate it. It's not, I'm just being really picky with the quality. I think it's just funny that during this whole process, the original sticker paper still turns out to be the best one 
I've had no issues with it whatsoever. And I think maybe like I'm considering the option that I'm just being really picky with the quality now. I don't even know. Anyway, so we'll see. Once this new sticker paper comes and it's like exactly the same, then I might have to abandon eBay or just buy that really expensive one. I don't know. I just, I mean, I'll keep looking. I'm not, I'm not going to give up. So it's almost 1030. I'm going to finish up those there's listings. I'm going to reply to your comments and by 12, if the new sticker paper hasn't come, I'm going to ship out those orders. And in the meantime, I'm also going to do that video. Okay, let's do it. Oh, hey, it's getting hot. <laughs> so um, this morning was really cold. So I brought back my teddy coat. So I just filmed my cricket video. I kind of just did mostly a voiceover and just a little intro in the beginning. I didn't plan it. I didn't write down anything. I'm usually the type to, but at the same time, another part of me was like, that is so much effort. I can't be bothered. So let's just wing it and re-record it if we have to, which is exactly what I did. So I always mess up on video sometimes. So when, when I cut, you know, I've messed up where I'm just like rambling about something and I have to change it. This is probably where I'd cut it. I'm exporting that right now and I'm gonna upload it I'm super happy with it, um, not because it's anything creative or exciting, but it's just, it was a challenge for me. It was a creative challenge for me because it was such a different format and it was something new and I don't know, but I'm, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm happy because I did it. Also, I'm not happy because it is, it is 1.20. My sticker paper hasn't arrived. So actually, let me check the mailbox. I am cold again. <laughs> I just checked the mailbox and no sticker paper, but my boba stickers arrived. I hope the color is better because I don't know. Like, is this going to happen every time? It's exactly the same. <laughs> Guys, why? All right. Well, now I guess it looks like there's going to be more in the first print run. <laughs> I was talking to Bambi last night on Instagram and she mentioned that she uses sticker app. So they do do free shipping to Australia, but she said it's only $5, which is quite good. And I guess I'm going to jump ship because these colors are not right. They look nothing like the proof. Maybe it's me. So I'm going to try a uh, sticker app. And you know what? Worst case, if I order, because they have a higher minimum quantity, if I order 50 of it and it still turns out the same, there's just cheaper first print runs. <laughs> That's fine. 12, 13, 14. They're exactly the same color as the other ones. They look so much more pink on camera, but they're really not. They're much more yellow. Yeah, I'll just add these to the pink run. So how they look right now on camera is kind of how they're meant to look but they don't look like that. They look much more green yellow in real life. They're still really cute though. I do like them. I think they look totally fine to everyone else. It's just in my head, I know what color I want it to be. So it doesn't look right. At least one thing arrived today. I'm gonna head out in 20 minutes to have coffee with my mom. And then we're gonna come back after like half an hour. But before I leave, I wanna get those um, orders packed and shipped. I just realized, I probably don't have time now, but I just realized I really like the look of these labels and I kind of want them on my sticker paper as well that it just says sticker sheet and maybe the label is that is that wasteful it is a little wasteful and it's a little unnecessary because I think with these main sticker sheets from a glance you can already tell what they are with these ones it would actually be a lot easier for me if I had the labels telling me what they are. I got an order from Miriam last night and she bought some of these planner labels. So I can't wait to ship these. I also forgot to add an extra one to Lisa's order. I'm so sorry. I thought you only bought one um, and I didn't check properly, but you actually got two of these. So I'm gonna also ship that out to you today. I already shipped your order out this morning, but I'm gonna ship out another one.
is almost 8 p.m. Um, Kevin's a little late today, but he is on his way soon. I have had a crazy day. It has been very busy and very productive. I actually finished everything on my to-do list. So I did those labels for the planner, um, planner cards. And I also did them for the planner labels, the la labels for the planner labels, as you saw. Um, I did finish those 2020 calendar listings. I pack and shipped all those orders. Um, I replied to all the YouTube comments, um, emails, and sent Etsy messages. And I even uploaded that Cricut video. So I'm just about to do the thumbnail and write the description for it but that's pretty much ready to go. I had a mini freak out while packing the orders today because I realized that I'm not equipped to deal with many orders like I can deal with one at a time but I think because I'm so used to not getting that many orders that I kind of do things as I go but now that some orders are starting to pour in some actual physical orders I need to work on making sure I have things organized and ready to go so that I'm much more efficient when packing because I've been quite slow actually completely out of sticker sheets I, I need to restock those so I guess that's a job for Friday I'm almost out of return address labels as well but which is good because I need to update it um I didn't even write the country on it because I've only been sending Australian orders uh, up until recently so I need to add Australia to that address label I need to get more of these uh planner cards printed so I've just been printing these at home and cutting them myself but I am not super happy with my laser printer. I don't think it's very consistent. I do run into a lot of problems. But what I'm going to do, I think, is get them printed at Officeworks in Australia. That's just our big like printer franchise chain, and they do like stationery. They're also a retailer, but they do have a whole printing service. They're pretty good quality and they're really fast. I think they have like a two hour pickup. I had a squiz at the offerings and they do have 200 GSM so I'm printing these on 200 GSM and I think if I just get them printed on A4 just a whole bunch and then I cut them at home I don't mind the cutting I think the paper could be better and the quality of the printing could be a little bit better so um, yeah I need to get on top of those because I ran out of freebies as well so tomorrow I won't be in I don't know if I've mentioned it yet but in the morning I'm shooting a video for my friend we're doing a video for his chili oil and that'll be a few hours and I'll just stay in the city because you know Thursdays Thursdays are usually the day I'm kind of out if I have something on and I don't know how much work I can do so I'm gonna assume that I can't do any because I'll probably be just working on that video straight away that same day just to get it just to get a head start on it kind of thing because I don't want to leave it for too long I want to have a quick turnaround on um, the deliverables of a project I need to order some rigid mailers soon as well. So I still have, I think, nine more of those like yellow, orange envelopes. So those are perfect for shipping out um, sticker sheets. I do like the idea of the rigid mailers, but I'm not sure if having those two pieces of cardboard as backing sheets will fit in a rigid mailer. And I don't know if it'll add too much weight. So that's just another problem. To tackle but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it but anyway i'm gonna leave it there for now i'm gonna pack up and maybe tidy up as well because this studio is really really messy um and i will see you on friday i don't have tutoring so i will have a full day of work oh i feel like i'm so behind guys and i really want to do those foil stickers as well I've been working on some stickers on Procreate as well, but I won't show you yet until until I catch up on all this stuff. But I will see you on Friday.